Here I am on the shores of Lake Sammamish with Darren Lamont. Darren owns Northwest Inboard. They sell Super Moomba and Access boats. I've been looking at Access for a while, yep. Darren. Like, what is the difference between this and a Malibu? I've always known Malibu. Yep. I saw Access come on the come on the scene in recent years. Like, what's the difference? So, biggest difference, other than price point, is going to be, you know, the Access is more manual. So you've got push button accessories, okay. analog gauges, pretty simple dash, but same surf gate, same engine, same power wedge, same construction, just Toyota versus Lexus type okay. comparison, right? Okay. So if you look at this, it's like the same hole shape. You're going to get a very similar wave yep. off this. You just don't have as many of the bells and whistles and maybe interior comfort that you get with Malibu. Exactly. So if you're driving this boat or riding behind it, it's going to yeah. compare really close to like a 23 LSV, for example. Okay. Like this is the T23, so that's kind of the, the same type of boat that we're yeah. talking about. Yeah, gotcha. I mean, for me, with the sports I like to do, that what's in the back in terms of the wave is the most important, exactly. but also the layout inside so that you can hang out, have cocktails with friends, and go cruising. Yep. You know, what I found with, uh, I, I have a, a Sunsetter LXI Malibu. I love the boat, but I'm kind of, the Lake Washington at least, the waves are getting big, it doesn't have the gunnel height, yep. water comes over the front, <laughs> I'm constantly thinking like, do I go forward, do I go back, what am I going to do? When you look at something like this, you got the gunnel height and everything so that when you're out and it's a little bit rougher water on some of the lakes that have more population, you can just cruise and relax a little bit more. For sure. Yeah. All, right. yeah. All the boats have just gotten so much taller now because of that reason. And then we're just putting more ballast in these boats to give you a bigger wakeboard, bigger surf wave. Yeah. Yeah. Right. And so you know, for wake foiling, you can do it behind anything. But it's always more fun with the big wave. Oh yeah. And for wake surfing, you absolutely gotta have that wave to be able to get it done. And uh, and so let's go ahead and take a look around the boat. T23, it's 23 and a half feet long. Uh, great riding boat for big water. Um, I'll take you to the back of the boat here. You know, Malibu surf gate here, same system that you're gonna find on a 23 LSV or any other Malibu. Um, under the boat here, we've got your Power Wedge 3, so you've got seven different positions on this boat. Um, even a lift feature that helps you get up on plane now quicker for wakeboarding. Uh, surf pipe, so this is gonna, you know, make the boat a little quieter, and then obviously you won't see any of that exhaust steam or anything like that. Little uh, stereo remote back there. Oh, more geese. <laughs> We're being attacked, man. <laughs> We outfit all the boats with a couple tower speakers. Wait, hold on, dude. Oh. Seriously, what is going on here? <laughs> I think they like the axis. <laughs> all right, so I go ahead. Uh, Wait, hold on. <laughs> Yet there's more. Most of the boats that we bring in for inventory or that we're doing custom orders for, we're going to outfit pretty well. A couple tower speakers, bimini top, uh, full boat cover, swivel board racks, typically put a heater in them. Uh, we like to do this uh, soft grip flooring so it dries out super quick, uh, real comfortable on your feet. Um, and then obviously all the big surf stuff like surf gate, power wedge, we do a plug and play ballast system. So plenty of weight in these boats now, no more fat sacks or add an extra weight. This boat's going to surf incredible with a driver and a spotter and a surfer. So it's an amazing surf boat for sure. Inside the T23 now. Uh, a couple of cool features. This rear bench will slide so you can sit there and face backwards. Uh, I don't use it a whole lot for that. I actually use it more as a table, like if we're doing dinner or you know lunch on the boat. Works perfect for that. Um, lots of good storage in this boat. All these seats open up. That storage will actually go all the way to the front of the boat. So I open all this up. Just wow. Tons of storage. Yeah. And then you got the same thing on the other side too. So that's for life jackets. Uh... Life jackets, skis. You could probably put a wakeboard, a couple surfboards under there too. Okay. Um, this spot on the other side here is kind of designated for a cooler. There's a little dished out tray right there. Um, now, is that something you have to size that cooler yourself, or can you buy one with the boat? You or? can buy one with the boat. Um, we recommend getting something more aftermarket because, frankly, the cooler that comes with the axis isn't the fanciest <laughs> sure. in the world. But yeah, sure. Yep. Uh, seat. 
you know, of course you got booster seat up here. The thing I like the most about this seat is it's totally open to the side, so I do a lot of side sitting uh -huh. and driving this way. Um, battery switch right here, easy for the driver to grab, just right down there, super simple. Everything's real easy in this boat, so everything's well marked. You know, you've got all your ballast fill and empty over here, super simple. Um, your heater, your wedge up and down on this side. Cruise control comes standard with it. Surf gate controls. Um, it's all really, really easy. Anybody can get in the driver's seat and figure this thing out in about two minutes. So, Darren, one of the things that that uh, you know I see sometimes in these boats is they get a pretty complex in terms of going in in multiple different settings. You know, can you can you do different settings that that you remember? Or do you reset it each time? Like, how's that work? Yeah, so that's one of the differences between, I guess, Malibu and Axis. Um, the Malibu will have a profile that you can use. Okay. Um, the Axis is, you know, you've got to kind of set it up each time, but it's super simple to do. I mean, gotcha. for surfing, you're pretty much going to fill the ballast 100. percent You're going to set your speed at 11, maybe 11 and a half and then okay. you just select which side you want to surf on. So it's still okay. real real simple. All right. So you're not going to you're not going to be changing the the shape of the wave with a wristwatch or anything. We still yeah, got so, that too. Oh, you do? Yep. Oh. Yeah. So oh, okay. Let me show you that. Same exact surf band that you get on the Malibu. Um, you've got surf left and right, wedge up and down, speed up and down, and then <laughs> even tower speaker volume up and down. From a from a rider's perspective, it's really nice because then you're not trying to tell the driver if they you know don't know how to do it you know which side you want to surf on or hey maybe boost that wedge up a little bit or bump the speed up a little bit you can just do it all yourself well darren this looks like a pretty awesome boat now all that's left is for us to get out there and actually ride the wave let's do it let's do it man whoop, whoop. <laughs> So once up behind the Access T23, one of the tests that I wanted to do is ride the second wave. You can see here, we don't even have our ballast all the way set up, certainly not set up for wake surfing. But look at that ridge line, easy flow from left to right, no problem. Next thing up, I wanted to test what does the third wave look like on the T23. You can see here I drop back to the third and hop on that wave. It's nicely shaped, no problem. You can imagine if you're foiling behind this boat, you could have a couple foilers on either side. But look at the real estate left to right that is able to cover with plenty of power. This boat puts out a sweet second and third wave. We only wanna make hopla, we don't wanna go war. Only make hopla, we don't wanna go war. We only make hopla. Yeah. Check out this resonant wave. So once the power of the boat is cut. It keeps on rolling, I'm able to ride in front of that pump right back into the second wave. Get off the second wave, get up to that first wave for all you wake surfers out there and see what it might look like. Now note, as Darren's driving the boat here, he's doing a lot of adjustments to the wave real time. We'll take a little bit to clean this wave up and see what you get. We only wanna make hopla, we don't wanna go war. It doesn't matter what water sport you want to do. If you want to 
want a wake surf, look at the cleanliness of this wave. If you want to foil it, you got second and third wave back. If you just want to throw a tube around and run around in circles on the lake, this is going to cover you. Uh, probably the only thing it's not going to be great for is water skiing because the wave's just simply too big. Inside you have all the cocktail space that you need to have a great time with your family and your friends. Uh, definitely worth checking out. Man, just look at this water, look at the wave. It's a lot of fun. fun second to third wave transfer second to first wave transfer nice big wave behind the axis plenty of space to do whatever you want Woo! Darren thank you so much for having me out on the boat today yeah the axis t23 yep you know you can see in the footage there we had plenty of wave whether you're on the first wave or the second wave it cleaned up really nicely today we just foiled but easily I could see that wave when I was foiling the first wave had plenty of push if I was on a wake surfer. Yeah, for sure. So it's fantastic. Yeah, and we didn't even have the rear ballast full. So like, yeah. this boat's got a lot more potential just beyond <laughs> what we did today. Yeah, so, yep. nice. So Darren's at Northwest Inboard. If you're in the Seattle area and you wanna buy a boat, talk to this guy, he's a good dude. I hope you enjoyed this review of the Access T23. Uh, if you have any questions, please just drop us a comment. If you like the video, give us a thumbs up, share it to your friends, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and we'll talk to you soon and get out on the water and have a fantastic time. Thanks so much. Okay.